It's January 12th, 2023. I remember it like it was last week. Maybe because it was literally last week. I was about to start finishing up the evacuation video when Alex sent me a message on Discord, telling me that something interesting has happened in the Valve community. On a Thursday, no less. Apparently, the whole entire Team Fortress 2 repo was leaked onto the internet with over 61 gigabytes of data now exposed to the world. Later on though, it appeared that this wasn't just the Team Fortress 2 repo, but also content from Portal, Counter-Strike Source, Day of Defeat Source, Half-Life 2 Episodes 1 and 2, and Half-Life 2 Multiplayer, and maybe even more. This is the mother load, people. Let's talk about it. Generation. It's been busy on the Lambda Generation community platform because we have launched two whole new sub-communities for you to join. The long-awaited Sven co-op community is now open and an all-new unexpected addition to the list has been opened as well, the Entropy Zero sub-community. You guys have been posting lots of stuff in there already and these new sub-communities are getting more and more active every day, so if you'd like to participate as well, or if you just want to lurk around these communities, then make your way over to LambdaGeneration.com. You won't regret it. As far as we know, the leak started to be shared on Discord by a user named Wanderer Leaker, who has been holding onto these files since 2016. Apparently, these files were allegedly obtained through social manipulation and exploitation of Valve's trust in license holders, which, if true, I think is a bit meh. While leaking the files, Wanderer Leaker had the following to say about it I don't care anymore. They also did my toying around with it for a few years. Did not upload it because I was threatened every time. A real shame. I have no legal binding to these files. Not anymore. Valve is apparently aware of the individual who leaked all of this content and may or may not act upon them. I guess that's something we're going to have to see. Because even as of a week after these events, this is all still a developing story. Alright, now there is no overstating how huge this leak really is. Loads upon loads of cut content are now in the hands of fans and data miners to dig through. This is around 100 gigabytes of files, which the TF2 repo takes up about 61 gigabytes of, so that's by far the biggest game repo to leak. This leak includes everything from maps like VMFs and BSPs, models are included, and even Photoshop documents for textures and other graphical elements are all laid out bare for you to play around with. It's quite interesting to see all of this stuff. Now, since Team Fortress 2 is by far the biggest game to leak, let me run you through some of the most important stuff here. Big thanks to new sites like PC Gamer, Dot Esports, Rock Paper Shotgun, and of course the large number of YouTube colleagues who have already made videos about this topic, and sometimes even more than one already. Guess we're just pretty slow, huh? Let's open this segment with the fact that more stuff of the cut raid mode was leaked. Raid mode was an experimental game mode where you'd be part of a 5 player strong blue team trying to get rid of red team bots that would attack from anywhere in the map while you have to fight through hordes of robots. Kind of like Left 4 Dead. This mode was later retooled and is now the man vs machine mode that you can play in the game right now. More yellow and green colored textures were also found in the leaked repo files. These colors were two of the original colors that you could choose in Team Fortress Classic alongside red and blue. This means that these colors may have been considered at some point for Team Fortress 2 as well. Oh, and you know how annoying, or epic depending on what team you're on, the level 3 sentry can be? Well, apparently there was also supposed to be a level 4 sentry at some point, making the thing even more powerful. Yeah, maybe it's a good thing Valve scrapped this extra level. Some unused taunts were also leaked, which were probably left unfinished. No idea if we'll ever see any of these taunts in the game, but probably not. And there is also this witch character model too. This witch character was used on the cover of Caster's Quarterly, the spellbook magazine item you can equip in the action slot. I do like witchy things sometimes, so it's cool to be able to see this entire model. And there is so, so much more content, probably too much to talk about in just one singular video, so let me rapid fire some cool stuff at you. 
There is this map that was found, which is basically a remake of a Half-Life surface tension map. Some team-colored gun models were found. This robot-looking thing with three legs was found, also in a payload version. A remaster of Nuclear with new models and lighting was found. An unfinished, to say the least, Zeppelin map was found. This statue. And a whole lot more maps and models. Seriously, so much content. This must be a TF2 fan's dream. If you want to take a look at this stuff yourself, then I have some recommendations for you. Check out the Reddit threads made by LukeHW. I link the first part in the description. Lots of content I talked about comes from those threads. Oh, and of course, go check out YouTubers like Tyler McVicker, Richter Overtime, and many more who have been instrumental in documenting these leaks. They probably did a much better job than I would have ever been able to. Seriously, I'm just echoing what they've been saying, pretty much. As for the other games that got their content leaked, these leaks are definitely pretty interesting, but not as interesting as the TF2 stuff. We got some leaked character models and textures and some maps here and there, but we already kind of knew about most of this stuff, so yeah. There is this map from Counter-Strike Source I'd like to talk about, though. It's called Zombie City and it was part of a prototype called Terror Strike, which later became a little Valve title called Left 4 Dead. Yes, apparently the game was being prototyped by Turtle Rock, or Valve South at the time, in Counter-Strike Source, which kind of makes sense, I guess. YouTuber WolfClock made a video showcasing this map over on their channel, so go check it out. So, what do you think of these leaks? Are you excited and happy that it happened? Or are you a little skeptical about the future of Valve and their stance on licensing the Source engine? I sure have some mixed feelings about this, especially because of the way the content was obtained. It wasn't quite ethical, to say the least. Anyway, let me know your opinions in the comments below. You know what is quite ethical, though? Talking about our sponsor. Military Conflict Vietnam, a source-based game that brings an intense and fast-paced first-person shooter set in the middle of the Vietnam War. We have been sponsored by them for the month of January. You can either join the Vietnamese soldiers or US Army soldiers in close quarters combat with fluid and modern controls. Featuring six classes with over 100 weapons to choose from, historically accurate skins and cosmetics, and promotions to earn. The game also gets updated weekly with new free content, and there's even Steam Workshop support and a classic server browser. Bowser. We recently gave away free keys for the game on all of our platforms, three of which I sent to some lovely subscribers of the channel. Congratulations to Lucic9, Claylex, and... Okay, this is kinda dumb, but I forgot to note down your YouTube channel names, so I'm just going to call you Newski, which is part of your email address. You know who you are. Happy fragging! Many thanks to Military Conflict Vietnam and developers Dustfade for sponsoring us. There is a link to obtain the game in the description below.